everyone as I think of uh, our offices, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm Gabor from Bhutan, and today I will be presenting on how the system of government change over the period in my country. The main objectives of my project will be the types of government in Bhutan that have changed over the century and I will be focused on the, some of the contributions made by our great leaders. And before I go with the main topic, this will be the, the history background or the location and the size of the country, the background history of Bhutan. Can you see the Bhutan game? Yeah. It's very big enough. Is it visible? Yes. 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 It's one of the smallest country and one of the beautiful country and it's uh, God gifted to we the Bhutanese and we are considered as the one of the happiest country in the world. Yes, this is a physical uh, map of Bhutan, can be divided into three parts. We have a Himalayan mountain, we have a inner Himalayan and the southern part we have a southern foothill. Himalayas. The northern one can see the white colors. These are the mountainous area, full covered by the snow throughout the year. And we have a high mountain that is Gunter Pinson with 7,570 meters above the sea level. And that is very important for us because we have one, more than 2,000 glaciers. And we have a continuous flow of water from the inner Himalayan to the southern foothills which can generate more than 30,000 megawatts of electricity and that is the main source of income for we the Bhutanese. And now this will be our main, my main topic. Here, I do that one, I'll just talk a little bit on the history account. And here you can see a portrait of Guru Padma Sambhava. He is a Muslim bomb from the lotus flower from the land of Dhanabhosha in Pakistan at present. And he was adopted by the one of the king of India, northern part of India, that is King Indra Budi, had adopted him to be his future ruler. But after that, actually he should be enjoying the worldly pleasures, but he could see nothing can enjoy his life. Everything is impermanent. That's why he renounced his kingdom. He renounced his kingship. He renounced everything and went for spreading the Buddhism. And he is the first person to spread the Buddhism in our country. Then after the time period between the Ababwan, the Guru Padma Sambhava and this uh, Tibetan great sense, who visited Bhutan in 1616. At that time period is known as a medieval time period. And during that time, our country was ruled by small city rulers. Everywhere, every day, there was a problem with the civil wars. And after his arrival, and he was a Tibetan leader, but he had a problem there in the Tibet, that's why he came to Bhutan. And we have several reasons, but I don't share because it's just time consuming. And he came to Bhutan in 1660, and he ruled the country for 35 years. When he was ruling the country for 35 years, he had brought many changes, reforms, and among many, we are just three unification of Bhutan. We have eastern, northern, southern, central, and western Bhutan, and he brought unification as the one nation. Second is the creation of unique culture, and these are the architects he built during his time just to safeguard our country from Tibetan invasions. Altogether, we have 14 Tibetan invasions from the Tibetans along with the Mongolians army there, but none of them had won the battle. And he safeguarded our country, and that's why at present, how we are is all because of our great son from Tibet. And this can be another one which can be similar with our Tibetan Buddhism and the Mongolian dress. The culture will be same, but a little bit different. I can say it's similar. The Tibetan, the Tibetan people will wear 
same like my go up to the angle. Just to make our difference, we just pull up and we have a butt here. And we come out. The Bhutan is located between two giant country, India and China. We cannot fight with them. We cannot do anything else. But our culture, our national dress is able, is able to fight against them. That makes a very distinct. The, we, the main way that is go and women is here. And you cannot see this type of dresses everywhere, anywhere except Bhutan. Now I can see here we have been seven country, we have more than 100 plus. How many of you wear this type of dress? Never. That's why I be as a Bhutanese, I respect, I'm very proud of. And the third contribution made by me is about the dual system of three system. And that is the first system that we have. Then after uh, centuries, we have a set of another form of government that is a monarchy when we had the first hereditary king of Bhutan in 1907. During that time, we had India was ruled by the British India. And during that time, we have a British Oxford school officer who came and provided or gave an insignia to our smash the king. Then we have second king, then we have a third king. And third king is very important and he is known as the father of modern Bhutan where he had introduced education, national assembly, agriculture and many others. And external forms. Then during the time of 14, he is also known as a father of Bhutan and here he had introduced the gross national happiness. And that is most important philosophy, not only in our country but in the world. At present, the Bhutan at present in the world we have 9 million board and Bhutan is trying to institute one more board that can be a judge for another 10 million board of near future if you enjoy letter in the 2030s. Thank you for listening.